What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? I'm Vinod Hayman Gaming here today to bring you some groundbreaking news information and updates surrounding the upcoming 2015 Dragon Ball Z movie entitled Revival of F Resurrection of Frieza. Ladies and gentlemen, what you guys are about to hear is uh, potential spoilers for the end of the film. Apparently, the movie is showing in selected locations in Japan. And uh, before I begin with the spoilers, everybody, I just want to give credit to the epitome of geekdom. He was the one that actually leaked the spoilers out, along with Julian, the person that went off to go see it. And uh, what I'm about to tell you guys is absolutely awesome, and it might potentially lead into another film. So if you guys don't want to hear anything surrounding the end of the movie, I would highly suggest you guys to just fast forward towards the end of the video, because if you really want to find out what happens for yourself, you can either wait until the movie comes out in the summer, or you guys can go on ahead and see it for yourself. Now, here we go. Now, first thing is first, ladies and gentlemen, Vegeta does not kill Frieza. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you guys may be thinking right now. This is BS. This is complete rubbish. Uh, apparently, Vegeta does not defeat Frieza in this film. But the blue Super Saiyan-like form is being confirmed in the film. And uh, what this form actually is, is said to be the mastery of the Super Saiyan God ability. So Goku and Vegeta are said to have obtained uh, some sort of new-like form in this film, which happens to be the mastery of Super Saiyan God. Um, they performed some sort of ritual in the film. They did something either when they either trained with Whis or somewhere along the lines of that. They must have unlocked some sort of ritual that allowed them to transform further and uh, master the ability of Super Saiyan God, both Goku and Vegeta. But this is how the actual fight goes down. So, it is said uh, by the epitome, along with Julian, who went to go see the film, of course, that the first person to fight Frieza is Goku. Goku actually transforms into the uh, the blue-like Super Saiyan uh, transformation, and he fights Final Form Frieza. Goku beats Final Form Frieza. Frieza then transforms into his... um into his golden state. And now we have Golden Frieza versus the new uh, transformation of this new Super Saiyan-like ability, which happens to be Goku, right? So we have new transformation Goku versus Golden Frieza. Now, the problem with Frieza in this film is this. Frieza actually has a hard time maintaining his maximum power, which means although he did transform the power level itself, the transformation is too overwhelming for him, therefore he cannot maintain it for long. Uh, but either way, we have, once again, Golden Frieza versus the new Super Saiyan Goku, and he beats Goku. Um, upon beating Goku, Vegeta steps on in, and Vegeta transforms, and Vegeta tosses a Sensu Bean to Goku um, in order for him to, you know, get back up and survive and whatnot. So now we have Vegeta versus Golden Frieza. Now, during that little scuffle, once again, Frieza defeats Vegeta. So now we have Golden Frieza defeating the new Super Saiyans, that, that being Goku and Vegeta. So uh, what was actually very interesting was the fact that Sorbet, uh, Frieza's henchman, was actually said to be involved in this fight somehow, whether he steps in when he fights Vegeta or he steps in when he fights Goku. Sorbet does get involved in this battle. And what is actually very interesting, if you guys go back and remember the third trailer, remember that planet that was blowing up? This is what happens apparently. Alright, so as Frieza is combating Goku and Vegeta, uh, Frieza gets really, really desperate. At this point, both Beerus and Whis are watching this fight from a distance, uh, obviously paying attention to what's going on with Goku's body, with Vegeta's body, with Frieza, and how intense the fight actually is. Out of pure desperation uh, from Frieza's side, Frieza decides to blow up the planet, killing everybody on that planet. Everybody who was on that planet dies except for Goku. Goku escapes, apparently, because Whis was able to save him. He recovered Goku before the explosion, and uh, Whis was actually said to go back in time. I think it's roughly around um, three or four minutes before Frieza blew up the planet. So, here's the scenario here. So, Frieza gets desperate. Frieza blows up the planet, killing everybody on that planet, including himself, I believe. Um, and Goku survives. Whis, you know, having the ability to travel back in time, he takes Goku back in time to, like, about three minutes or four minutes before Frieza blew up the planet, therefore having Goku kill Frieza with the Kamehameha wave. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I know all of you guys might be super pissed right now that Goku may be a potential candidate to actually be the hero in this film. But the, the, the most interesting part about this whole scenario, the most interesting part about this entire story is this. Once Sorbet sees Frieza die by the Kamehameha wave, Sorbet actually says to himself, everything is going according to plan. So what, what, what the hell does that even mean? 
Does that mean he expected Frieza to die? I'm not gonna lie to you guys right now, I have chills just talking about this because just imagine that for a second, right? Sorbet, the very being that brought back Frieza, watching his master and his leader die, actually not even caring to himself, just saying out loud, oh, everything is going according to plan. What does that even mean? So you brought back Frieza to watch him die for what? What does that mean for Sorbet? So apparently Sorbet lives, he escapes, and, and, and right here, there is a grand plan here. We don't know what the hell's going on, but apparently this is going to lead into a much bigger story later on down the road, because if Sorbet lives, then what does he mean by everything is uh, going according to plan? And, and, and in fact, uh, the biggest question here is does Beerus get involved? Because uh, what was actually said here is Beerus does have some correlation to the uh, battles happening on that planet. Whether or not he gets involved is, is a total mystery right now. But um, like I said, guys... Big shout outs and credit to Julian, the person that went to go see this, um, including the epitome of geekdom. And if you guys want to watch the story for yourself, you guys can go on ahead and check it out in the comment section below. I will link you the video uh, to this person that actually leaked the story. Um, he must have some friends that went on over and apparently they're showing the movie in some places. But either way, guys, it's very interesting because it is said that Frieza does not, you know, die by the hands of Vegeta, but by the hands of Goku. So uh, does this mean Frieza is erased? from history i mean how powerful was the kamehameha wave that actually you know eradicated every nucleus in his body we don't know uh but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below once again i'm telling you this right now it is only word to mouth from people that actually went to go see it um it could be real it could be fake either way i actually see something like this going down because although we don't really have any of official 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 leaked confirmation uh the movie is said right now to be screening in certain places of japan so if you live in japan just go look for the movie and you can watch it you can actually watch it before it even releases so uh let me know what you guys think do you guys think frieza actually dies by goku or do you guys think uh something bigger is going to happen and if this is true what do you guys think sorbet means by this is he going to start resurrecting other characters perhaps i'm not saying he's going to resurrect people like you know Know, Majin Buu or Cell or whatnot, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And once again, guys, thank you all for watching. My name is Undertaming Gaming. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Dragon Ball Z news, information, and updates. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys are excited about this, don't forget to smash that like button. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below because th this, this, this is really, really something because... I mean, we all heard about the new transformations, and a lot of people were talking about how it might be fake, uh, but apparently it is not fake. There is a new transformation that Goku and Vegeta wield, and uh, what's very interesting as well is... um. That red devil that you guys saw on Earth that fought Piccolo and whatnot, he actually has a name, and I believe his name is Shisami, and Shisami actually dies by Gohan's hands. So Gohan actually defeats the strongest villain on Earth, which happens to be uh, Shisami, which is which was the red devil-like character that beat down Piccolo and whatnot. So very interesting. I mean, although I would have loved to see Gohan, you know, max out his ultimate level. Of course, they nerfed him to hell. Uh, but what more can we do as fans? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but let me know what you guys think in the comments section below stay tuned for more because i'm telling you guys right now there's going to be a hell of a lot more news your way and i it's, it's just it's crazy at this point because we're a little we're a little under two weeks away two weeks away if you guys aren't excited about this something is mentally wrong with you i mean i'm pretty sure that you're you yourself are going to transform into a giant yamcha and i don't think you want that i mean do you i mean come on now so anyways guys thank you all for watching don't be a yamcha just stay tuned for more and i'll be seeing each and every single one of you guys in the next episode fuck yamcha peace